for the this is a foreign foreign case with very high international traction so we have to decide as a government on how we're going to manage it but as far as we are concerned we will do our level best at all levels of government uh, to get the next of keen uh, or evidence or some kind of material from the next of keen uh, who are related by blood so that will assist us in determining the identity of the body we we will try our level best uh, recognizing the the intensity of this case and the na very unusual nature of this case yep but uh, with uh, withstanding whatever they have might have said or requested uh, our answer is as far as Malaysia is concerned we will follow the protocols uh, which we have for example the cause of death we have already identified established and announced that is due to the nerve poison so that is the poison of cause of death we will not change it for any reason or other neither are we going to release the body until we have uh, uh, we have uh, uh, identified it and uh, we will release it to the people uh, who are the rightful relatives of the person so that is what despite the conversations or requests which we would have got from North Korea I think as a country our decision is that mm. right you don't have the specimen See, we, we have a body of one person who has got a North Korean passport with the name of what? Kim Choi, is it? Kim Choi. The whole world says this is Kim Jong Nam. So for her to say this is not Kim Choi, but this is Kim Jong Nam, we must have evidence. And that evidence can only be got by the DNA profiling of the relatives and all that. So that is the reason we need it. Is it? That's the reason. Okay? So the, high, the meeting yesterday with the cabinet. Risiko mereka untuk mendapat penyakit dan risiko mereka untuk uh, berkaitan dengan penyakit yang mereka 